So the recipe that you just showed us came from the Wisconsin Local Foods Journal, which my understanding is you just recently published. Yep, just hot off the presses <laughs> fairly recently. Great. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, I'd love to. Um, I'm really excited about it. It's a project that a local author uh, Joan Peterson and myself um, have been working on for the last year or so. We call it the Wisconsin Local Foods Journal, but it's much more than a journal. It's a guide um, to cooking locally, cooking in season um, throughout the year in Wisconsin. It can be used in a number of different ways. It's actually set up like a, an engagement calendar, so you can use it as an engagement calendar. Um, each month has a list of all of the types of ingredients that are at the farmer's market. It also has wonderful um, interviews, uh, Q&As with vendors um, from the Dane County Farmers Market and other markets around the state, mostly southern Wisconsin. Each month has featured celebrity ingredients and featured recipes. And the book can also be used obviously as a cookbook. It can be used as a dining journal. One of the things I think local food advocates love to do is keep track of what it is sure. that they're making with what they buy at the farmer's market. So you can use it as a way to record what your dishes are. And really, in total, it's meant to be um, a guide for Wisconsinites to learn how to cook more locally and more seasonally throughout the entire year. And you have quite an emphasis on uh, farmer's market. Yeah, actually this, um, we're hoping to continue to do this. It's a calendar slash journal, um, you know, you know uh, into the future every year, right? Uh, and this year we'll have, um, the theme has been um, farmer's markets. So it really focuses on, I think the farmer's market is the place where if you're starting to think about buying locally and, you know, eating more sustainable, the, the farmer's market is that sort of entry point that so many people love because it's such a draw. It's such a spectacular mm -hmm. draw. You can get so many ideas and there's so many great ingredients there. So we decided to start with farmer's markets and um, we hope to continue it. Um, all of the proceeds, um, all of the uh, profits go to the Reap Food Group and their food and sustainability programs. So it's a project that hopefully will help consumers um, learn to eat locally and also help to create this regional food system. Wonderful. Um, great.